morning traders, welcome to the Elliott Wave Street weekly update. I'm Juan Maldonado and it's a pleasure to start the week with some of our wave counts. Today we're going to start with the euro on, on a daily chart. Let me explain what we are working on on the, on the daily chart. We're finding the end of wave one. Uh, to start wave two is a corrective wave that could very easily go back to the one area and the the plan is to have the entry on lower time frames to find the end of the trend on lower time frames please have a look how the price uh, with the MACD this is a, just a regular MACD here reaches the the peak on the MACD the price keeps reaching higher highs but the MACD isn't the MACD is moving down while the price is moving up well the reason behind this type of behavior is because supply is entering the market you can learn more about these topics in the Elliott Wave Street membership but let me uh, explain in an easy way what this means when you have a fast candle it tells that supply is not present what the MACD is measuring is the speed of price when we have a strong MACD is because the leg on the on the price was was fast so fast equals no supply when the market starts making higher highs but the MACD isn't is because supply is reestablished or supply is entering the market and that tells a uh, that uh, there is a distribution in process and usually that happens during wave 5 on a little wave of course you can learn more about that inside the membership but look here on the hourly chart I'm having an ABC here for wave 5 because it's an ending diagonal wave but um, as you can see this move up was pretty fast look at the reaction on the MACD right it's, it's huge then when the price departs to complete the last leg we have the concept of divergence which means that we have supply entering the market so as you can see this could be the first short entry at this rejection and the second entry will be after this wave one we will have ABC if we have another rejection on, on this area clearly that's going to be the, the sell trade right there and from there is where we can start following the price down and the, and the target will be this area but of course the risk reward is going to be fantastic of course price can break down that area and and push lower so we have the setup in this area now it's a matter of finding if we want to trigger here or we trigger here whatever but it's a clear clear setup let's have a look at the s p on the S&P, we're working uh, like something similar, like the euro, because the, the plan is having some sort of ABC, a zigzag, here on the daily chart. If the price breaks down this area strongly and keeps trending down, we are going to reach a lower low. It's impossible to tell right now if, if that's going to happen or not. But something that we are working for both scenarios is selling this B wave right there and that's the exercise we're doing today on lower time frames so if the price moves down and creates a low fantastic we make some extra money if it comes here and rejects we, sh we close any shorts and we go long you always trying to keep everything extremely extremely simple on the hourly chart we're going to be able to check the internals and to accelerate the timing um, and then we will move to lower time frames like the 15 minute chart so look on the hourly chart again we're finding the top of b last week i was looking for this is a one and then an abc for two uh, but we didn't have the rejection i'm going to show you the difference in a second the price instead makes a hard high so no problem it wasn't a trade it wasn't a setup so we we are good the price makes a high here makes a, a second rejection so that's another entry right here and the next entry is going to happen here so let's move into the lower time frames to highlight the setup on the on the 15 minute chart we can call this a this is a b and this is a c if this is right what is going to happen then 
is price is going to close under A. And this is extremely objective because we are not going to say, oh, this is a Fibonacci level or this is and this and this is a, a shooting star, whatever. No, we're, we're, we're going to look for the close under A. And once we have the close under A, then we can just sell right here. That's the short after the candle closes could be on the 15 minute chart or the 30 minute chart or the hourly chart. Don't forget that when we use higher time frames uh, to validate something, the signal is going to be stronger. So the, the sell trade stop somewhere here. And once we reach one to one risk reward ratio, we can do something. We can book partial profits. We can move a stop loss to the break even. We can take out 50% of the trade or 30% of the trade, but we need to do something, of course. And if this is right, if the direction is right, we can capture a good amount of points to the downside on the S&P. What if traders, instead of having this setup, instead of having the, the rejection as just explained, what if we have some green candles pushing higher? There is no short trade because never closed below A, right? Extremely simple. And if that's the case, we look for the break of this area, a rejection, and we can sell it here. Make sense? That's the, the process. Let's have a look at a couple of examples so you can get this better. For example, last, last week, I was looking for this leg as a 1 as, and then as an ABC here, right? The price doesn't close under, under what I was thinking was wave A, so no trade. You see how important it is to look for validations? Let's have a look at one that is pretty clear that happened before here at the top. So you can see an example of what is the right look. So we have again wave 1 here. We have the zigzag, the price closes here under the high, closes here. This is an hourly chart. We can accelerate the entry by moving to lower time frames. Or if we are on the hourly chart and we have the signal, we can look for the retrace to sell it anywhere, right? Because we already have the validation. And look how beautiful that worked. So waiting for the validation is key because actually what we are doing is we are uh, looking for the confirmation from supply. If we don't have confirmation from supply, why we should try to, to short if we are alone, if we are trading against a strong hand? Doesn't have any sense. So these little price action tricks uh, with Elliott Wave to validate the waves, you are going to find a lot of these type of things inside the membership. Let's have a look at another one. Let's have a look at oil. Oil, we have here price. A, in a corrective wave, I think so. So I'm, I'm looking for another another push up here, the rejection, and this is going to be the sell trade. That's it. Target, this area of the 70s, 72, right? This is the CL. This is a CFD, but it's pretty close to the CL. Um, and of course, if you are trading CL, if you are trading uh, another reference, if you are trading another CFD, there are so many instruments in the futures markets that you can trade. So of course you, you check the structure and just you adjust the quotes and that's it, right? Pretty simple. All right, traders. So please have a fantastic start of your week. Join us here on ElliotWaveStreet.com. You will find the membership tab. And here you can find the plans that we have for the Forex trader, the stocks trader, or the full access. And we have a special offer with the first month trial just $19. So you can trial the whole service during a 30 day period to check what we have inside that is fantastic. We have education, we have live market analysis, we have trading plans, we have a lot of things to show you how to use the Elliott Wave Theory with other tools uh, to accelerate your career, to accelerate the time uh, of learning Elliott Wave and of mastering Elliott Wave. So I'll see you inside the membership. Have a fantastic start of your week. Take care. Bye-bye.